So there's a lot of people out there that understand and know exactly what's a torrent and know that that's a good way to start making certain downloads and a good way to access applications and files that people want. But there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to do it. And this is a very basic, very simple introduction. I'm not going to explain to you exactly what a torrent file is in this video. The first thing that you need to know to download a torrent, the first thing that you're going to need anyways, is going to be a sort of torrent downloader. Um, they have a few out there. Um, if you have a Windows, I recommend BitTorrent. If you have a Mac, I recommend Vuz. Um, as you see, I have a Mac, but I run Windows in the background. <clears throat> I dual boot. So I have Vuz right here. This is the app I use. I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys. And I'm going to leave it open on the side so you guys can see how I work with it throughout it later. But once you have a sort of torrent downloader, you could just Google torrent downloader and pick whichever one you want. Most of them, to be honest with you, they work the same. Um, but Vuz is the one I choose. Um, you're going to want to go to a few websites, a few torrent downloading websites, um, depending on what you want. But most of them usually have everything. A very, very popular one nowadays is the Pirate Bay, the XE. So this is what it should look like. This is what you should be looking for. Um, something like this. There's a few other ones. I'm going to post links in the description. But this is one I tend to go to often. Um, let's say you want to download a movie. Um, let's put Man of Steel. It's the new Superman movie. You'll notice you got the Man of Steel 1080p Blu-ray. Right? But something, this is two very crucial things when you download files. First of all, what you're going to need for speed on download it, since it's a torrent file, you're going to need a cedar to leader ratio. Um, a cedar is somebody that's uploading the file for you to download it. Leader is another person that has the file available for you to download it and has been fully set up for you. Um, but it works through a community. All torrents work through a community. So to get the highest cedar one that you can is you're going to go ahead and click right here, SE in the corner. And it'll change and you'll see that now it's a different file and now you have more cedars and way more leaders uh, the file is bigger the bigger the file size usually the quality is better so you see that you have this 2 gigabyte 1080p and you have this 700 or 900 megabyte 720p you know so obviously this one's going to look better um, to be honest with you yes the higher your file size the better the quality is i've it's never failed me <laughs> at all the bigger the file size the bigger the quality is so let's say you want to download a movie and watch it pretty quick you're going to want this one depending on your internet speed mines is this the um, this one should download in within about 20 minutes this one give it 10 15 minutes this one can take me to 40 minutes to an hour but if i'm not planning on watching it right away this would be what i would go for the reason i'm showing you this is because you have apps in android it the pirate bay which you can get into here and you could download torrents the exact same way um, in android you also have BitTorrent applications available or any sort of torrent downloader you have uh, quite a few of them actually that you should be able to access and you should be able to get into um, and you could download the same stuff on your phone let's say you're away from your computer you could download it on your phone put your sd card into your computer or connect your phone to your computer however you want to do it second thing is very important a lot of people or would be very scared and I was at the beginning on what the heck you're downloading because you see with LimeWire gave a bad reputation so did FrostWire and stuff like that where a lot of people's computers got messed up due to viruses due to problems that people were downloading and they didn't know exactly what they were downloading so believe this part or not right here you're going to see that you have a green skull um, if we go down you'll start seeing other color skulls I think they have uh, a pink one and a red one here's a I think this is, I'd call this purple you have a purple one stuff like that comments this little you know it shows you how many comments are there um, this picture logo shows you that the thing has pictures so believe it or not green and this purple color means it's good a VIP somebody that's partnered with 
with um, Pirate Bay and has been assured and they've made this certain sort of commitment and every single one of their files gets checked and they have been proven that they don't upload any sorts of viruses and this one's from a trusted source that people from here they don't download it, um, they don't upload any sort of virus for you to go ahead and download so going back to the start we'll see that this biggest cedar to leader one has a whole it has the whole thing that you need so even if you're still unsure whether you download it and you're still unsure if you don't trust so this person if you don't trust it you could go ahead and you can check the comments and it'll tell you yes or people would upload it. i mean if i've ever downloaded it which has happened to me uh, files that have had viruses in them my computer picks it up right away with my antivirus and it'll tell me this is a virus and it'll tell me this is a trojan and i'll post it real quick it'll be like hey you know what do not download it this is the trojan and when i post i honestly i see other people have posted uh, very much also so what you're going to want to do so what you're going to want to do at this point right now is that you've picked the file that you want to download whether it be a movie right here you can see applications games videos um, whatever you do with the torrents and whatever you download is totally up to you um, but let's say you want this one you would click get this torrent and then okay I got a pop-up saying I have update I'll update it later but you'll see I have started downloading if you're a Windows user um, usually you're gonna have an issue with the way Windows is set up naturally. You're gonna have to go into your user account control and change your permissions. This is if you get a pop-up saying um, that you cannot download a file because you don't have permission. So if you need permission, you're gonna have to go into um, your control panel. You're gonna have to access user account controls. You could just type it into the search bar. User account control would be the only thing that pops up and you can move it around from there to what allows you to download it and you'll go back and as soon as you change the setting it should start downloading all on its own pretty quick um, the download isn't like downloading a normal file that has been uploaded so, like i said it has a, a cedar to leader ratio so it works by how many people are connected it works by how many people are also downloading this um, you'll have access to see how many people are actually connected to you um, it, right here and this one on Vu's it, most of them are set up almost exactly the same. You have the title of the file you've downloaded. You have the size, how fast your download's going, and your estimated time for it to download. Right now, I got 25, 24 minutes. And as you can see, the time is kind of flimsy right now. It's going down pretty quick. It, the estimate isn't, exact, actually, isn't exactly right. And then it'll tell you when it's done. When it's done, you're going to start your seeding process. You don't have to seed if you don't want to. Seeding is mostly like a way of saying thank you and it's the way the torrent community works. If you've downloaded a file, um, if you download torrent files, you'll notice sometimes you'll have a big file. You'll pick the one with the biggest seeders to leader ratio, but there's nobody out there seeding this file. So it's going to download at a much slower pace. If you have a lot of people downloading, look, it's a giant file, two gigabytes. And I'm getting pretty good signal on it. I'm getting really good um, seeding ratio right now. It's actually downloading extremely fast. And then when it's done here, on for me on Vuz, it's going to erase from downloading. It's going to go into the new section. And from the new section, you could play it. You could share it. You could do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, but to stop downloading it, you're going to select it. You could push pause. This was kind of like your pause or stop or restart, however you want. Right there, it shows up stop or start. Um, this one's to completely remove it. Um, if you can, if you click on this, it's going to ask you, do you want to remove it from this application and just let them not worry about it no more? Or it's also going to give you the option to remove it and completely delete it from your computer. Just however you want, it's totally your choice. Vuz has an app. Um, for Android and as long as I have my computer on at home and I have Vuz open um, I can go be at my job whatever at lunch I'll decide which movie I want to watch when I get home and I'll pick let's say this one Man of Steel and then I'll remotely activate it to download on this computer and then once I get home the download will be completely finished the seeding process isn't forever after you've seeded for a little while they'll, they'll, they'll stop seeding and then I could just beam it over to my TV. Right now my TV is off, so this would be green. And then I could just pick the movie and then I'll be watching it for my TV via DLNA. 
which is awesome. It's just a great way it works. And this is how you download it. So there's a few different websites out there. And every website works a different way. You're not always going to be able to, to see tell by a score. You're going to have different sort of ways for you to recognize what's something that's trusted by the website and what's something that's not trusted by the website. Remember, this website has nothing to do with what you download with the computer. You choose what you download and the people choose what they upload. So if they put this little score right here, it's not a guarantee of a 100% chance that you're not going to get a virus. Always, always have an antivirus on your computer. Um, getting a virus when you're downloading stuff is you're going to feel like a retard when you do it. Just have your antivirus and have one of the, the ones that have a web shield. So you'll know what you're downloading. It'll warn you before it actually even gets into your computer that what you're downloading has a virus contained in it. An actual torrent file is actually pretty small. I think this one should be a few kilobytes, to be honest with you. Um, but to the, what the torrent does, it gives it access to a different sort of file that it would be able to download. So it's going to be very easy for your antivirus to scan it really quick and decide whether there's a virus in there or not. Um, so this is the video. Um, whatever you download, it's up to you. Um, if you're going to go ahead and you're going to steal music, I'm not supporting you in any way. If you're going to go ahead and steal movies, I'm not supporting you in any way. This video was made just for educational purposes.